Hello my dear friends, you're in the military summary channel. In this short video we're going to discuss the most important events that took place during the previous night of the local time. During the previous night, the Russians conducted massive missile strike all over the entire territory of Ukraine. And mainly, the Russians were trying to hit and destroy or to damage the Ukrainian power plants. On this video, for example, we can see the results of Russian strike on the Ukrainian Kharkiv power plant number 5. A significant damage the Russians managed to deal to the power plant that located in the area by the name of Zaporozhye. So this is another power plant. This is not just a power plant. This is the dam, as you can see. The Russians haven't destroyed or damaged the dam. Mainly, the Russians were trying to hit and to destroy engineering facilities, engineering constructions that Ukrainians uh, were using to operate and to run this power plant. And according to sources on the ground, this power plant left the chat or as people usually say and uh, on the western part of ukraine according to informations that was already information that was already published the russians attacked the ladizhin uh, power plant uh, so this this is it so if we zoom in we're gonna see the uh, the power plant itself and some buildings and so on and uh, according to information we have uh, the ukrainians uh, started uh, turning off electricity with the purpose to maintain and to fix and to repair the damage the Russians managed to deal. I'll remind you that just yesterday uh, the Russians conducted another, let's say, massive missile strike, but the previous day the Russians mainly were attacking Kyiv. And this video we can see the results of Russian strikes. So this is the second day in a row when the Russians are attacking Ukraine. And this is very important. As you can see, the Russians, uh, the Russians are attacking Ukraine. And uh, uh, yesterday the Russians were attacking Kyiv. Today, the Russians were attacking the energy facilities. What kind of conclusion we, may, we can make based on those attacks? First of all, we see that Ukrainians uh, has no air defense at all, at least in the vicinity of Kyiv and around uh, power plants. But uh, if, uh, you know, if, to tell the truth, the Ukrainians do have air defense, but currently the main Ukrainian air defense forces are concentrated along the line of combat contact in Zaporozhye, Donetsk, Avdeevka, Kupinsk, Liman directions. And as we discussed in the previous videos, the Ukrainians, uh, let's say, have redeployed their air defense forces from Kyiv, as we can see, uh, to the line of combat contact. The Ukrainians have redeployed their air defense forces from Zaporozhye to the line of combat contact. The Ukrainians have redeployed deployed their air defense forces uh, from Kharkiv area uh, to the line of combat contact with one purpose. The Ukrainians do have intelligence information that the Russians are about to start uh, the spring uh, greatest Russian offensive operation. And this is the reason why the Russians uh, were attacking, let's say, Kyiv during the previous day and why the Russians were attacking the power plants uh, during this night. And the main reason is to force the Ukrainians to move air defense forces back to energy facilities uh, to the capital of Ukraine and but this action will uh, let's say clear the sky for the Russians and after that they will be able to start bombing and attacking the Ukraine positions with 234 235 with significant number of apps and basically the entire Ukraine defense line will be collapsed now we are moving to the situation on the ground and first let's move to Avdiyevka direction. If you remember yesterday discussed that according to the Ministry of Defense of Russian Federation the Russians managed to establish complete control over the village by the name of Toninka and today we got the first geolocation confirming that the Russians managed to establish control not just over the village by the name of Toninka but the Russians managed to bypass the fields and now the Russians are trying to storm the tree lines to the west of the village. So significant progress just by, as a result of one day clashes and if you remember yesterday we discussed that according to my understanding there are going to be no problem no barriers no resistance from the Ukrainian side and the Russians will be able to get this yellow line within the next few weeks and uh, let's say 33 percent of these past russians have already passed during the previous night the russians managed to improve a little bit their positions between arlovka and toninka and when talking about berdichi there are still very heavy clashes the russians still haven't managed to break the situation the ukrainians understand the value of this town the value of this foothold so they're sending more and more forces the main area the main forces from the ukrainian side who are responsible for defense 
defense of this uh, let's say territory is 47th mechanized brigade but anyway regarding the ukraine attempts to repel the russian attacks anyway we understand that sooner or later this defense bell will fall very soon as well furthermore during the previous night before let's say the beginning of russian greatest offensive operation the russians continued bombing and attacking the ukrainian positions in the deep rear with iskander missiles on this video we can see two strikes with uh, iskander missiles in the uh, around the uh, city by the name of silidova very likely the russians managed to destroy another ca command center or headquarters or maybe concentration of ukrainian forces very likely today we're going to receive some numbers and details about the strike and uh, one of the most important update is coming from Ivanovsky direction if you remember during the previous video we discussed a lot about the situation in the village and we were saying that the main reason why the Russians haven't managed to establish control over the entire Ivanovsky yet was the Ukrainian positions on the hill to the southeast of canal of Chasovyar this hill and today after probably a month of clashes in Ivanovska after a month of attempts from the Russian side to break the situation in the area we got the final geolocated confirmation that the Russians as a result of fierce clashes bloody battles managed to bypass and cross the fields to attack the hill and to establish control over the territory on this video that was published by the 42nd mechanized brigade of the armed forces of Ukraine we can see the significant number of FPV drone strikes on the Russian forces in Russian positions on the hill and on the northern part of Ivanovska. So we can say that the days of Ivanovska are numbered. Furthermore, the Russians managed to get on hill. Probably the Ukrainians during the next few days will try their best to counterattack the Russians with the purpose to restore control over the hill. Very likely nothing will happen, nothing will help them, nothing is going to be changed. The Russians understand the value of the area and they will hold this area also regarding the losses and regarding the let's say difficulties they're going to face during this defense operation meanwhile the main russian forces in ivanovska will complete the clearing and the storming operation in the area and will capture complete establish complete control over the village so very interesting details are going to come to us during the next probably 72 hours and i expect that because of the fall of the hill during the next 72 hours the russians will complete the clearing operation and establish complete control over the village interesting uh, reports we start receiving from klishevka after artillery preparation the russians started uh, after a very fierce artillery preparation from the russian side uh, the russians were bombing klishevka very heavily during the previous few days uh, the russians are about to launch the ground operation in this area as well i reminded that just yesterday we received report that the russians established control over additional railway station on the railways between bakhmut and kordumovka zelenopolia uh, we are talking about this uh, albatrosova uh, railway station uh, after uh, also the Russians uh, were, were clearing this area with FPV drones and very likely uh, the Russians are going to start the ground operation in Klishevka the final push also during the next uh, 24 hours and because of the problems in Ivanovsk and on the hill I think that Ukrainians will may will decide to step back to fall back from the area and they're not going to fight for the territory let's say for a very long time because basically for now there is no reason to do this due to the risks and the very poor situation in Ivanovska and of course along the railways uh, interesting details are continue coming from Tierney direction we have adjusted the map now the Russians according to information we have managed to improve their positions uh, along this forest and these three lines uh, the Russians are getting closer and closer in Tierney now the Russians have a very big and uh, long uh, foothold a very uh, strong foothold and very soon we can't tell for sure the real dates and the real estimations but uh, very soon the Russians are going to to answer Tierney itself and then the Ukrainians very likely will be forced to fall back. Furthermore, the uh, Ukrainian and the Western uh, military experts and officers suggest Ukraine to start withdrawal process and to abandon some positions towards more strategical and tactical positions with better prepared fortification belts. Very likely that Western countries in NATO are talking about, we're talking about at least Kupin's direction and maybe even about Chasavyar and something like this. 
Uh, furthermore, the sources are saying that Ukrainians have so big losses that they can't, don't have possibilities to evacuate uh, the old uh, people from the line of combat contact. And uh, they are saying that the main reason of increased Ukrainian losses, and for example, also the Minister of Defense of Russian Federation stated that in comparison with the previous year, uh, the Ukrainian losses were increased three times more. And uh, the main reason of that is m use of uh, uh, fab, different types of fab uh, on this during the special military operation. And that's it for today. Military summary channel reminds to condemn any violence in the world. Thank you for your watching. Subscribe to my channel. Put your likes to my patron and have a good day. Bye bye.